Petco Park undergoing a makeover as it prepares to host next week's Holiday Bowl. Fox 5's Heather Lake is in the East Village this morning with a look inside before the first ever football game on that field. Heather. Well, the Holiday Bowl is back and it is going to be very different than what people are used to. The 43rd Holiday Bowl happening here at Petco Park. So yeah, there is an end zone and a goal post behind me, which is not what you're used to seeing on the ball field, but it is now a football field. It will go back to a baseball field just in time for the Padres to get back out here. But this is really cool and we're going to show you all the transformation. So first things first, Mark Neville, you're the CEO of the Holiday Bowl to talk a little bit about this transformation. This is a long time coming. You guys have been wanting to make this happen. Now you have a five year contract. Talk about when all of this started and how you made it happen. Oh man, this goes back years, actually probably to 2017 when the, when the idea first came up. And uh, there's conversations that, that we had with the Padres and kind of you know, writing was on the wall with what was gonna happen at the stadium. And so we had to look for alternatives and, and uh, the Padres have been great. And so we were able to enter into this partnership uh, that we announced earlier this year. And uh, it's hard to believe, you know, when I walked onto the field this morning, it's the first time I've seen it with the paint and everything and uh, totally exceeds my ex expectation. This is like one of the coolest football venues <laughs> you'll ever go to. I mean, it, and uh, so yeah, December 28th, next Tuesday, having NC State and UCLA here, it's gonna be surreal. I mean, it's the, the fans are in for quite a treat. Yeah, the players get in tomorrow from NC State and so a lot of um, the people from North Carolina are obviously coming in and getting to enjoy San Diego this time of year, which is perfect for all of them as they're getting their chilly weather right now. It's probably really exciting. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the biggest changes that people will see. If you're a season ticket holder with the Padres, you're going to walk in here and go, wait a minute, where, where do those seats go? What's going on over there, right? Well, the important thing is that once baseball season comes around, they're not going to notice a difference, right? It's going <laughs> to look just like Petco, Petco Park, the great venue that it is. For, for football, you know, there had to be some changes to make the football field fit. Right, and so um, all the work. As soon as the the baseball season ended, they were hard at work making this thing so that so that we can come in here. The SDCCU Holiday Bowl can come in here and have a big party. It's San Diego's biggest holiday party. I know, I love it. Before we go back to the studio, not only is there a game, but there's a parade, there's a 5K, and there are a lot of parties happening around downtown. There is something for everybody at HolidayBowl.com. You can find all that info. Um, the night before the game, we're going to have the Snapdragon Bowl Bash and concert in the Gas Lamp. The marching bands are going to perform at Fifth and Market. Uh, and a couple stages in the gas lamp, all free. Then we're having, I'm, we're geeking out with 80s here uh, on the 27th here in Gallagher Square in Petco Park, an 80s music festival that will include a flock of seagulls, uh, missing persons, the English beat, Taylor Dane, who will be singing the national anthem at pregame. Uh, and then game day, we have the Port of San Diego Holiday Bowl Parade presented by Kaiser Permanente, America's largest balloon parade, more balloons than even the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Wow. And that's great free family entertainment, you know, pack up the car, and come on down, get on the trolley, uh, enjoy it. Right. And it's, it's a lot of fun for everybody. So exciting. So yeah, we'll watch UCLA take on NC State. It's all happening on Fox 5. 5 p.m. is when the game happens. And if you want to get tickets, they're still available. Several different options for your experience here at the Holiday Bowl at Petco Park. That's going to do it for us. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now. We are less than a week away from the Holiday Bowl. Heather, thank you. Right here on Fox 5, we want to send you to the big game. Are you excited for that? We are giving away a four-pack of tickets to see North Carolina State Wolfpack taking on UCLA. True and Turk just head to FoxSideSanDiego.com. Click on the contest tab. We're going to announce the winner live during our morning show on Friday.